So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get WordPress running uh, in your computer. So first, I went to ApacheFriends.org, www.ApacheFriends.org, and once you get here, um, if you don't have it in your computer, if you have an older one, um, well, if you have an older one, um, be sure to uninstall it, and if it leaves behind any folder, make sure to delete that folder. Um, if you don't have uh, Examp or an older version of Examp in your computer, you want to locate this link. It says uh, download now uh, the, the one with PHP 7.1 support or PHP 7 support, whichever is the latest version. So you're going to click download now and that will bring you to a page. Okay. So in my case, it's already downloading in the background as I'm doing this demonstration. But... Um, so you'll have to locate the latest version. So in this case, since I'm using Windows 10, I downloaded, I'm downloading this. Okay, the one with the 7.1.4. All I had to do earlier was to click at the download button. And if you're using a Mac, you'll have to scroll down. And there you're going to see 7.1.4. And you will have to click the download button for that as well. Now, while that's downloading, I'm going to go ahead and download an add-on, which will let me run WordPress on top of Exam. So what I'm going to do is click on Add-ons. That will bring me to all these add-ons, and I'm only interested in WordPress. I'm going to go ahead and click this. Okay. Now, doing so will bring me to this and of course since I'm using Windows I'm going to click on the Windows link under download WordPress. Okay, I don't have to create an account there so no thanks just take me to the download. Okay, So it's asking me what do I want to do with the installer so I'm going to go ahead and just make sure it goes into my downloads folder and that's right so I'm going to go ahead and click save so let's click on view downloads just to see what's going on. Okay. All right. So the exam, uh, in well the exam software, uh, that will that may take a while. It's about 120 plus megabytes. Uh, the the WordPress add-on should be about uh, 20 to 30 megabytes. Okay. So now that that's the exam is done downloading so I can go ahead and double click that I want to allow this app to make changes to my device yes okay I think I clicked it one too many times let me close this one all right well this one is asking me to whether run it or not. I'm just going to go ahead and close that. And what I'm going to do is close the browser as well. Since WordPress is the add the WordPress add-on's been well it's done. All right. So Okay, so I am indeed running an antivirus and um that is okay. I could temporarily disable it, but I'm not going to bother. Continue with installation. Yes because of activated UAC, uh, some functions of exam are possibly, possibly restricted. And I'm gonna, this is my antivirus, so I'm gonna stop that. Just put that on the side. Okay, this one, I'm gonna click OK, and go ahead with the installation. So, as you can see, I left everything on. I'm not, I'm not unchecking any of them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and proceed. All right, so the default folder, which is going to be the exam folder, will be created in my primary hard drive, which is C. So I'm going to go ahead and just accept that. I'm not going to bother choosing another folder. The default is fine. Okay, I don't need to learn about the Bitnami for exam. I uncheck that and click Next. Setup is now ready to begin installing exam. All right, so all you got to do is wait. And... Um, if you're bored, you can go ahead and fast forward this video to the point that the this where the installation is done.
So now uh, Windows is prompting me about this. If I want Apache, the web server uh, that Exam installs on my computer to communicate with my private network, and that's fine. Uh, I don't need it to communicate with the public network, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that checked, but not the public, and go ahead and allow access. and just pretty much wait for the rest of the installation to be done. Okay, so installation is done. Uh, if I want to start the control panel, um, I probably won't and, and rather restart the computer. So I unchecked that and click finish. So I'm going to go ahead and restart my computer. So in that way, we have a fresh system. So at this point, uh, while Windows is starting up, I um, want to take the opportunity to mention that um, once we have, uh, once we get back to Windows, which is now, uh, we're gonna proceed with the installation of the the WordPress add-on. But in order to do that, we will need to start the Apache and MySQL servers. Okay. So let's just wait for this to finish. So now that that's my computer's restarted, has restarted, let's go and look for the exam folder. And right there is the exam folder in my start menu. And if we go inside that folder, there's the bit uh, the exam control panel, and that's what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Okay. Oops. Uh, let's just uh, click remind later for that. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, that shouldn't come up, okay? Uh, if you're using Windows, you're not going to get that prompt, okay? But now, this one is asking me about the language, of course. I use English. Go ahead and save that. Okay. Let's just see. Okay, so it is running. All right, there you go. <clears throat> okay, so now that we have the control panel running, you should also get it in your notification area. Okay, so you can see there's the icon right there and you can right click and you can start the servers from here but I'd rather uh, use this one so I can see what happens after I click the start button. So as you can see there are a few servers and I just we just need Apache and MySQL servers running so let's start the web server first which is the which is Apache and let's just wait for that to finish. Okay you'll know that um, it's done because it's gonna the button's gonna change to stop okay and uh, it does say here running okay so let's start my sequel okay once again that fire, windows firewall so yes it's okay to communicate private networks but not the public okay go ahead and allow access to that okay all right so my sequel is now running as it says here in the status so this is why i'd rather use this so i can see what's going on exactly so next, now that we have Apache MySQL running, let's put that, let's minimize that. Let me go to my downloads folder and run the Bitnami WordPress module or add-on. So I've just double clicked the file. Yes, I want to make changes to the device and can close this, close this window now. All right, so. Okay, so the Bitnami WordPress add-on installation is now started. Has now started and I'm selecting English of course. Click OK. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and click Next. Choose a folder contains the installation of XAMPP and that's right, that is the folder that I used earlier. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. 
All right, this is for the uh, the WordPress account. Okay, so so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use Joel. Type my full name there. I'm gonna type my email address and type in a password. Okay, next. All right, so it's gonna name my WordPress site as Joel's blog. I, I'm okay with that. I'm going to go ahead and click next. If I want to configure email support, um, this will be necessary if you are going to be using plugins that will require uh, email. Okay, But uh, in this case, I can just skip this for now and not check that. Right, I'm going to go ahead and click next. Um, deploy WordPress to the cloud. Nope, not interested in that. So I'm going to uncheck that box. And I'm going to proceed and click next, and it's now ready to install. All right, so I'll click next, and now it's installing. And while this is installing, I want to mention that in a Mac, when you run the uh, Bitnami WordPress add-on installation, it's gonna it it will prompt you first um, to enter your administrative account, the the account, the username and password you used to get into your Mac. Um, because once the installation is the installation software is running it's going to restart with your credentials. So in other words, it's you're going to see the, the installation screen twice, one at the beginning, and once you've entered your username and password that you use for your Mac, it's going to restart as you. It's going to log in as you. Um, and once that's over with, then the next, um, the next phase is, just like what you saw here, it's going to ask you for... Um, well, the username and password you want for your WordPress site that it's going to create in your computer. Okay, but in the Windows uh, machine, as you can see, it didn't prompt me for the administrative account. Didn't the installation did not restart? So it just went ahead and installed WordPress. Okay. All right, so this should be almost done. Okay, so setup is completed. I don't need to launch. I don't need the installation to launch it for me. I can just uncheck that and click finish. Okay, so that's how you get to install WordPress. And again, um, well, if you want to verify your installation, you can open any browser you have. So I'm going to open Microsoft Edge. And let me just stop this. Oops, stop. I'm going to type localhost slash, okay. Well, I can check to see first my date, the, the WordPress database. So localhost slash PHP my admin. Okay, so I see the Bitnami WordPress database. That's good. Next, I'm going to check my WordPress installation by typing localhost slash WordPress. Okay, there you go. There's the WordPress site. It has some dummy content right now, and that's okay. And let me see if I can log into the WordPress dashboard by typing localhost slash WordPress slash WP admin. Should present me the login screen. All right, I'm going to type the username that I chose earlier, which is my name and password that I chose earlier. I'm going to go ahead and click login. Save the password. Nope. I don't need to save the password. All right, there you go. So there's the dashboard. There are some updates. Uh, there are some dummy content here, like some posts and pages. Well, actually, up one post, a post, and a page. <laughs> and um, there should be a couple or so themes. There you go, three of them. And a few plugins. Uh, actually, several plugins in this case. All right, but that's okay. Uh, but that's what you're going to get after a fresh installation of XAMPP and uh, the Bitnami WordPress add-on to it.